We're standing inside the Duluth National Weather Service radar tower, so we're 30 meters above ground level. We've got the radar pedestal here and then this, this big dish. And this is what rotates inside here that gives us the data that you know you see on the internet or on a mobile phone app or whatever. The radar was installed in 1994-1995 and it's been operating uh, ever since. The part that we're actually replacing is what's called a bull gear, which is this piece of metal that's right down here. It's, um, it's about a 10 day job that a, a crew of six people from the Radar Operations Center in Norman, Oklahoma, uh, They'll, they'll be doing this work. There's two gears. There's the gear for azimuth. That's the gear that we're changing out. So it's the azimuth gear that turns the dish in an azimuth rotation. Then there's an elevation gear, but it's on the other side, just like in this pattern right here. It drives the arm so to make the antenna do this. So the bearing that we're changing is the one that turns it in azimuth. So we have to separate this piece from that piece about 17 inches. And then we'll see that bearing. And that 6 band team, we'll get in there and take it apart, break the safety wire, loosen it up from its seat, and physically pull it up. And once we get it out to this deck, we'll lower it to the ground, we'll take the other bearing up, feed it in, sit it down, torque it, bolt it, safety wire it, um, engage it with the gearbox, because the gearbox is what's going to drive that gear, and we'll set the backlash, fill it up with oil, and set it down. This radar is a little over 20 years old, so the parts are getting old. It wasn't designed to work more than about 20 to 25 years, and so they're having to do a series of routine maintenance and upgrades to extend the life of radars like this, which we have 122 of them across the country. And so in the part, in the process of doing that routine maintenance, we discovered that the bull gear part uh, had, was in the process of basically breaking down and failing. And so this is turning, a one week scheduled outage is kind of turning into about a three week unscheduled outage that allows them the time to get all of their equipment here and actually um, replace the, the parts that are needed. So this is what we expect to find in that sump when we get upstairs. A lot of chunk, metal, plastic, shavings, slivers. Very fortunate that this didn't happen, say, two or three months ago when we were in the string of uh, a lot of severe weather in July and August here, and, and so far the weather is cooperating.